opponent. She can't see the tap out. It's locked in. And what she can do, to win, she can tap out all she wants. It's not going to put an end to the suffering. That's the knee. Bailey has been eliminated. She's going to be set up for a submission here. Look at the twist. There's no escape from the camera clutch. You don't see this often. And look at her giving up. She's quitting, but it doesn't save her from the hook here. Bianca Belair has been eliminated. Looks in the arm. Not done yet. Into the arm breaker. Hammer lock. This certainly wasn't an easy win, but she pulled it off. And in the end, that's all that matters. This highly anticipated Royal has begun a very unpredictable kind of match. Chaos reigns supreme. Even the most seasoned superstar can fall victim to the numbers game or an unexpected elimination. The only possible strategy here is to be prepared for anything. And now he's giving you all another chance to simply take it all in. Just muscling up their opponent into the setting up an elimination here. Absorbed 
some damage already. Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely. Oh, and soon we could be seeing a submission here. And to apply even more punishment to his opponent before potential limit. He let it go. Yeah, I wonder why. Randy Orton has been eliminated. Ooh, right to the throat. Pulled in from Bentley to Valley. Rikishi is picking the competition apart. Yeah, Rikishi isn't giving any quarter. Playing out for the power slam. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. See, he is feeling it now. From the ring, all the way to the ring. has been eliminated. Oh, look at this. I think he just wants to make his opponent suffer before throwing him over the top rope. Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Oh, uh, hold on. Is he thinking of the submission here? No, it's locked in. I don't think he had it fully locked in. Rikishi hoisting up his opponent. Rikishi driver is brought really in this position. from him to the entire WWE Universe.
tag team bout it's going to be Steve Austin Drew McIntyre and a pop of pros. and across the ring we see Triple H, Seth Rollins and Kevin Owens and communication for these teams is going to be key in this one a complete focus on teamwork is the only way to work oh just turn that around Qualification match is in there, Corey. More than a lot of people realize, it's not just the superstar in the ring you have to worry about. You have to worry about everyone in the locker room that they're aligned with. The odds in this match can swing right against you so fast. Oh, impact to the stomach.
McIntyre and Apollo Crews. These three have to be happy with their performance here tonight. No doubt about it. The better superstar definitely won tonight. Tag team match here with Cedric Alexander, Jinder Mahal, and Edge. Then across from them we see Triple H. Set. Oh, a cross body. That's finding any which way to talk with the competition. That is insane. Superstar put themselves in a position to win. The competitor must put themselves in a position of power, position and control. Render your opponent immobile and continue the assault. It's all about making use of your surroundings. You can't take anything in the environment for granted. And will this be it? And it's Cedric Alexander that goes for a ride. Triple H kicks out of the pen early. Easy kick out there, but they'll get harder soon. Makes him pay with a counter.
tag team action underway with Wesley, Kofi, and Xavier Woods. And in the other corner, they will be dealing with Triple H, Seth Rollins, and Kevin Owens. These teams have built up lots of animosity towards each other, and now they have finally reached a tipping point. I would expect and a quick pin attack. The other side a quick pin attack. He's on the ropes. The official sees that and waves off the pen. Referee in position. Two. Attack after attack on target. He actually got pretty far there for such an early pin. And shoulders are down. Two. And a kick out. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Suplex. Good timing with that reversal. What kind of headspace do you need? to be successful in a disqualification match. A ruthless one, Cole. You can't show any remorse about going after your opponent full force. Anytime you waste second-guessing yourself, it's time for your opponent to get their hands on a weapon. This is right for him.
Very few superstars have enjoyed the global success that AJ Styles has had. AJ's traveled all over the world and battled the best opponents on every stop along the way. He'd be hard pressed to find a more cultured in-ring talent. Well, we'll see how all that globe-trotting experience serves him here tonight. And then you have an egomaniac like Michael Hall also ready for action. You'd have an ego, too, if you were already as good at our sport as he is in such a short time, Saxton. Logan Paul's a real natural, a mega mogul, an influencer, a social media god, one of the baddest men around. Should I continue? Okay, Corey, I think I know who's paying you under the table. He's going for it all. is getting dominated, but AJ can't let this flourish derail him. I can't believe I'm even asking this, but Corey, what would you consider the ideal strategy to take on Logan Paul in this matchup? I'll answer without the condescension, Cole. The key is utilizing your veteran advantage. End of the day, while Paul may be a megastar, he's not a WWE superstar. Even with his boxing prowess, even with all the tutelage he's received from The Miz, Logan Paul is still very much a rookie in the ring with all the weakness that entails. Looking for a high-risk, high-reward situation. From the top! He's lost some of his win now. Nice snap suplex. We're not done just yet. Part two! And looking for the trifecta! Paul making it look easy right there. Well, Paul's brass, but I guess you can't be if you can back it up like that. Ow. Overwhelming offense now from Paul. Paul's doing a great job remaining engaged with the opposition. Oh, 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 German suplex. Nine. From the top. He paid for that one. Oh, man, big time.
AJ Styles earned the moniker, the phenomenal one, by always being at a higher level than his competition. There's no question in my mind that AJ's singular talents make him one of the very best to ever climb in a ring here in WWE. I'm sure many would agree with you, but it remains to be seen if this will be another phenomenal night for AJ Styles. It's on time tonight because Austin Theory is like someone made a superstar in a laboratory. His stats are maxed and he's as hungry as it gets. Theory may be young, but he's literally built for success. Uh, Theory's age is the biggest mark for and against him. Thus far, his natural abilities have won out. We'll see if they do again here tonight. It's become clear that AJ Styles isn't above breaking a few rules to win. How do you strategize for a competitor who isn't afraid to cross the line? Well, first off, Cole, AJ doesn't break rules. He simply bends them. And that's just strategy. But to answer your question, you never give AJ the chance to use those more ruthless tactics. You always have to maintain ring awareness so you're ready to counter anything. What are we going to see from Theory? to the patella, uh-oh. Buster! Theory size and strength on full display with that one. Whoa. He's heading up top. Thinking big on the top. And nobody's there. Going right after the net. 